G'day. We've had some feedback that people want to know what we're doing about the radios. So we had some issues with our radios, particularly last summer. So what we did, we put a team together. The team consisted of some technical experts, some operational people as well, to try and do some work, in, including the company that manufactured as well, to do some work to understand what the issues were. As a result, we identified there's some hardware issues in, particularly in the mic, that's now being rectified. So we're fairly confident that that's being fixed. We've also put together a user-friendly video and a one-pager sheet just to give a bit more background on the use of the radios. So if you've got issues, let us know. These are obviously an important tool for us to use, during the, particularly during the summer, but let's face it, all year round. And we'll continue to work on the fixes to make sure we get this right. We think we're there. We need your help. Just if there are any further issues, let us know through the observation report system. Thank you. The safety of users is a top priority for organizations who provide radio communications. Clear, concise communications are critical to worker safety. So in this video, we will provide six principles that demonstrate the best way to use a microphone to ensure clear, concise communication. Although we're using a speaker microphone and a portable, these principles apply when speaking directly into a portable or when using a mobile radio microphone as well. First, you need to push and hold the PTT button throughout your transmission. A common mistake many users new to radio make is starting their conversation before they finish pressing the PTT button or letting go of the PTT button before their transmission is complete. Although you might only miss one or two words, those one or two words could be very important. Many trunked and digital radios will provide the user a beep, so make sure you wait for the beep before speaking. Second, you should hold the microphone between two and five centimeters from your mouth. A common mistake is talking too far away from the microphone. This makes the audio more susceptible to room noise, reverb, and harsh tones. On the flip side, getting too close to the rear mic can be bad too. You'll pick up excessive breathing, mouth noises, and pops from letters like P and T, which are called plosives. Many users keep their radios on their lapel, uh, which works great because it's about that right amount of distance. So two to five centimeters or one to two inches. Next, you should talk past the microphone instead of directly into it. When you talk straight into it, that creates a lot of plosives. Uh, those gusts of air, puffs of air, go from your mouth into the microphone and can cause some trouble. Pivot the mic around your mouth so that you're talking past the mic instead of into the mic. Again, keeping it on your lapel will help ensure that you talk past the microphone instead of directly into it. Fourth, don't rattle the microphone. Try to avoid movement of the microphone in your hand while transmitting. Any movement can translate into background noises or inconsistent volume levels, which detract from the quality of the transmitted signal. Fifth, when possible, avoid noise around the microphone. What you do away from the mic is just as important as in front of the microphone. So if possible, avoid loud keyboards, squeaking chairs, cracking knuckles, whispered conversations, background noise makers, and anything else. It's always better to speak in a quieter area. So if possible, move to a less noisy location to improve the quality of your speech. Or at a minimum, try and cover up to block some of that outside noise. And sixth, speak clearly in your normal voice. That means you don't need to shout. And you don't want to speak too fast because it makes it difficult for people to understand you. Divide your message into natural phrases rather than individual words so that what you say flows smoothly. So there you have it. Following these six principles when you use your radio will improve audio clarity and therefore increase safety.